It just so happens that I know both parties, right? Both of them are very well known to me. Emeka Ike was uh, my senior colleague back then, several years ago, um, when I was an upcoming actor in Nollywood. He was very friendly, very nice, very gra gra ish, you know, but that's Emeka for you, right? His wife, on the other hand, happened to be my classmate at the University of Lagos. So we went to school together. We were in the same class together. We took courses together. And it's just so sad that what's playing out is has played out, right? Oh. So wife is a very, very calm individual. Oh. A friend of mine, Rita, who was training on Tunde Ednot's page, was trying to talk talk about, you know, women and what women do to men. And, and she was talking about not taking sides and family issues or matters, but she already made up her mind that Mikai K's wife was the demon without even knowing this lady personally. And she actually made a video to say, you see, when women want to rise um, emotion out of people, they talk calmly. Emeka Ike's wife, if you really know her, I'm surprised she goes by the name Susan now. I know her as Emma back then in school. She was very calm. Five years we attended the University of Lagos. She never had an altercation with anyone, not one time. Mm. She was very peaceful, always going about her business. You would never hear her. And you see, she happened to be the wife of a star at the time, but she never had any of this air about her. They have to tell you that that's a Mikaiki's wife. She was not, you know, self-seeking, you know, or popularity-seeking. She was just a nice, calm person. Now, I spoke to a Mika some hours ago, right? And I said, bros, what did they happen? All these things. Today, please, the Mika that I spoke to, mm, why well, I have not had the opportunity to watch all the videos that are circulating on the internet? But today, I spoke to a father who was very, very pained. Oh. And he had tears in his eyes. And he said all he tried to do was to make someone out of his son. He said, oh. my son went to Turkish international school. That's what he said to me. This afternoon, he said, and I don't know about Turkish because where is Turkish International School for Nigeria? He said, he said, he said, he said he paid. Uh, he his son attended Turkish International School, and then his son is was was in Abuja in a, a university, but that this boy one day decided not to go to school anymore and said he wanted to make it. So as a Nigerian parent. What he wanted to do was try to guide his son on the right path. But you know how Nigerian parenting is. In today's world, Niger the Nigerian parenting as we know it equals abuse. Huh. Nigerian parenting, but look how you turned out. Chris, look how you turned out. Look how I turned out. Listen. When I was in, so before I graduated, right? Huh. It don't take me when I enter Nollywood. It don't take. Like I enter, I joined Nollywood first when I was in Delta State University. That was, I'm talking about when Victoria Yama, Ketensho, even before Genevieve, Genevieve is never in. That time it was Victoria Yama, it was Ketensho, it was Regina Askia, Liz Benson. Benson. Um, yeah, um, who else again? Oh, or Motola, they were the actors, and that was when I was an upcomer, right? Right, so not be today. I joined Hollywood, so I wanted to make it so badly, like become one of them. Matter of fact, of, of all these people I mentioned, Victoria Iyama was my star actress, like so throughout this period, I would travel from Delta State and go to Lagos State to attend audition, several auditions. I attended. But guess what? My mother never for one day acknowledged the fact that I was trying to make something of myself. You know what she said to me? She told me, sit here and waste your time. 
and your younger ones will catch up to you and overtake you. And then, you know, I was frustrated because at the time I was getting little jobs here and there, you know. And then one day she said to me, she said, I'm not asking you not to follow your dreams. I'm not saying don't act. Give me the degree first and then you can go and do what you want to do. Because according to Thank Nigerian parents, according to Nigerian parents, going to school equals when they eventually close their eyes in death. They know that their children are equipped to make it in life by way of having that degree but at the time we didn't know nigeria was going to become what it is today back then if you go to school you are a graduate you are guaranteed a job right so i can understand where emika was coming from however the delivery though is what we can say is the issue now the boy <laughs> dropped out of school I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Let me let me let me take you back a little. He dropped out of school to do what exactly? So this afternoon, when I was talking to Emeka, Emeka said, "Cynthia," and he had tears in his eyes. I've never seen the Emeka I talked with this afternoon. I've never seen him that way before. He said, "Cynthia, my son, I sent to school, is currently working in a Nigerian restaurant in Lagos." That's what he said. So he's coming from a place of pain, a place of disappointment, a place of, oh, I sent my son. I want my son to, you know, rub shoulders with other people. I want my son to be successful. And we all know Nigerian fathers are feared. They are not respected. They are feared because there is this thing about Nigerian, um, you know, family dynamics dynamic where the father is like the lord and master children can manipulate the mothers and some mothers will try to put us in line back then by saying wait until your dad gets back or wait until your dad hears this because everybody just knew it was almost like everybody was raised by the same kind of father i had that for a father my father was a, a dictator it's either his way or the highway my father did things and said things to me that Back then, I hated him for, but in retrospect now as an adult, I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way because of how I turned out. Oh. It just happens that what you know is what you know. And it's only what you know that you pass down. It's only now in our days that people are beginning to unlearn several things and sign up for what they think is the better route to parenting. Back then, it was one way to parenting. If picking mess up, you flog and if you flog and you go flog sense into in, in, in head. If you don't believe in flogging, picking, you go pull in ear until the thing pain and well, well, you know. But in today's world, it equals abuse. So I can understand when he comes out to say, My father, this, that, that. There is nobody that is as right as a youngster between the ages of 18 to 25. The natural wisdom starts setting in from 25. But you see, between 16 and 25, they feel they know it all. He said, his son said, look at David Doe. I said, well, how many David Doe's do we have? We have a lot of people that are even more talented than David Doe. But look at how David Doe blew. He had the backing of a Baba Olo. He, he came out with the Emma, Dami, Duro, Amy, Omo, Baba Olo. But how many Baba Olo's do we have? So you cannot, um, as much as it's good to dream, it's, it's not everyone who we have the luck and the platform of a David Doe to come out. It's not, I mean, you know how many people, I have cousins in my family, they sing good, they rap good, and I have even tagged Tunde and Ed Not on some of their videos, but how many of them get picked at the end of the day? Emeka, according to him this afternoon, was saying, I was only asking him to get the education. He is huh. paid. Spend. You know, I spend. said something that children can be very manipulative. And there the is boys no probably now, 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 all of you that are saying you don't need a degree, you don't need a degree. Please, if you are in Nigeria, get is the same thing I'm doing for my children. Get a degree. Get a degree. If you live abroad, you might not need a degree. What passport does this does this boy have? Have you taken your time to find out? what passport this boy has those of you saying eh, i can see a lot of people in the comment section eh, you don't need a degree don't let anybody fool you you are better i have a degree you understand i have a bsc in sociology and it is very useful for me especially when it comes to understanding uh 
the society. Yeah. yeah. Especially in regards to religion. When I speak on religion, I speak from a statistical, from a societal point of view. I studied Marxism as a minor, the works of Karl Marx and his fundamental uh, cognitive teachings on the subject religion. Now, my mother made me go to uni, left to me for no go uni. I was working on a radio station, poorly paid, but it was my dream. My yeah. mom made sure I stayed in school while working the dream. I may be wrong, go, but I, I noticed this trend, especially with the boy. The boy ran to where he would get less stress because your parents will definitely put stress on you. And if your father invested that much money in your secondary education, he, he would definitely want you at least to have a degree. Now, I, I try, try very hard not to push children. Some parents, because they did not have money to get educated themselves, they want to live their dreams through their children. That is wrong. But you see, you, no father would want to watch his child as in come out as, 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 as without a BSc at least. It doesn't mean he has to use it. And there's, there's quite a lot of knowledge you pick up in campus. Exactly. There's a lot, there's a lot. You it might... helps you become a more rounded individual. Because you get to learn a little bit of here, a little bit, bit of philosophy, a little bit of psychology, a little bit of this, that, and a third. And then towards the end, you specialize in what it is you really want to do. It helps. Today, I work in technology. But guess what? I earn more than people who are doing the same thing that I am just because I have a degree and a master's degree. But guess what? I had those degrees from the University of Lagos. But because the University of Lagos happens to be one of the very few universities here in the United States that their degrees are still being considered equal to what we have here in the U.S., my pay scale is up because i have a degree and a master's degree but on the average in the united states nobody cares about degree right until you go into certain areas when they say degree no matter for abroad it depends on what area you want to function in that mm, abroad mm, mm, mm. there's a lot Not of everybody articles. wants to be a truck driver everybody degree, no matter for truck driving degree, it doesn't no matter, matter for, for real estate driving. But there are some places where your degrees are. Yeah. Huh. And, and it's just, I'm a product of um, divorce myself. So I can really, really relate. I knew what it was when my parents got divorced. I was on my, my mom's side because my dad was harsh, you know, very harsh at the time. Remember, I described him earlier on as a dictator. But, you know, as I became an adult, I started seeing things differently. There is no set of kids that is as manipulative as children from a divorced home because you can never win with them. If mommy is the one that's, that, that they live with, that is the bad person. If that, oh. that is the one they live with, oh, mommy abandoned them. Look at the case of Mubad because his, his mother left him and went to marry someone else. The dad was the star for a long time. And when the mother opened her mouth to speak, they said, you will abandon your picking. So it's a lose-lose situation. At the end of the day, when there is a split in a marriage, now the children, they suffer. There is no, I know a lot of people who have no insight into how these people, how, who they are, you know, in nature. If people have you know, judged, people have taken sides. And these, these two people are hurting. They may not come out to social media to admit it, but they are hurting. I'm sure when they got into the marriage, this was not the outcome that they hoped for. Mm. People are hurting. So make Nigerians, they careful in the way where they take side, oh, the man, the woman, the man. It's not so plain cut. Let me just put it that way. It's not so, you know, black and white. Mm. There are some gray areas. There are mm. definitely things we did not hear from the wife. And there are still some things we've not heard from Emeka. Hmm. Now, my question to the wife is, because for me, uh, he slapped me, beat me, cheat on me, follow, you know, 
I was saying this earlier on that that boy has been a bit manipulative from I see the boy as being a bit manipulative because I was his age. And when I was his age, I wanted my parents separated. And it was not entirely for their good. It was also for my... So you can have your way. So I can have my way. You understand? I want to ask the mom, what are you doing with the boy? You, you have a university degree. What are you and doing? If this story is this true. Afternoon, the maker told me that she went back to school, did a postgraduate, went back again, and did a master's. So my question now to the mom, because you carry this boy, I went to do interview, and you look right, and all these things. My question now is because with, with what I just heard tonight, I'm a bit upset with the mom, and she has to come and tell us, why you take a kid out of uni? And then he's. Well, let me let me ask you. Can, can a mother? Can, so and I and I and I an adult. But I post my dear sister. Post same, hold on, I, my dear sister, my dear sister. Uh, no talk with me, and you go take vex. The boy is an adult. He's exactly, I was two. I was listen in Nigeria. That. You don't even qualify to be a full adult until twenty one. And I tell my children all the time, if you mature at 16 in my house, you become an adult at 16. If you mature at 23 in my house, you become an adult at 23. Your adulthood is measured by your achievements. I have a child that got into university at 15. And I have another one that got into university at almost 19. They are not going to, because one will come and say I'm 23. The other one will now come and say I'm 17 or 18. No. What have you achieved as this 18 year old goes a long, long way? So I just, don't want to squash the so boy. Just because, so just and because I understand society, that whole because David Doe too did it, left Lego, left the US but, and came to Nigeria. But it how many very David Doe's do we have? It though. sounded very, very stupid. How do you live abroad and come to Nigeria and join them? But you see, at the end of the day, he showed us that he knew what he was doing. This boy needs to show not just the father now but because they've brought you to the public eye the world that you know what you're doing you you've got to go back to school and finish that degree it's what my mother did to me and i don't regret it my mom said give me the degree you then you might can be chase your talented dreams. i've never i've never used i had a degree in sociology i i had a daa i never said this before i had an agreement with god i started down with God one day I say God just see me through this uni you know I don't like it and I don't want I don't need it just help me I will never disturb you with book again that was, was how far I had to go just to get a degree but let me tell you something imagine that the free is coming to attack pastors who are architects and engineers mm -hmm. how dumb outside he doesn't even have a degree so I thank God for it today it might have slowed me down a little, but where was I even rushing to? So, dr dropping out of uni to work in a restaurant because you want to sing and meet Don Jassy. He was broken when he said it. I said, Cynthia, my if son didn't go to just any school. Turkish International School. If that is it, then I'm not going to say the father was right to use those words. But the father's anger is justified. And to be it, honest with you, it's just that we are very judgmental in Nigeria. When a person is, is angry... To what somebody is saying, but 21-year-olds get married in Nigeria. How? I will never advise a 21-year-old to get married. What do you know about marriage? You will go in there and waste, the, waste your life and waste your parents' time and money. What do you know about marriage at 21? So because one or two dumb people get married at 21 is, is now okay for a 21 year old to get married in 2024 even, you're not even psychologically ready to face life at 21 you have no business it's just i don't know the word, but the um, that, too harsh but the anger is justified those words though so, hmm. those words were harsh Yes, but do you but know can how you many tell me people, that his anger as a father but, is not justified? Do you know how many people, even here right now on this live, whose parents have said worse things to them? They 
your parents. There was a time they called my dad to say, hey, come, 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 oh, uh, Moto Jam, your picking. You know, my father said, I hope she. And my father, he said that Moto Jam. because he was I'm mad at Moto Jam me. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> hey. this guy just jammed me. So my auntie went and told my dad, your daughter is in the, in the hospital. He said he's not coming. He hoped. Uh -uh. To this day, to this day, it rings in my ears, right? But did I, well, we didn't have voice note back then, but you know what I'm saying is a lot of people, even people on this live right now, right? Your parents have said worse things. So just because a Mikai case voice note, made it to the internet because right now there's no privacy you may just yeah. be pouring out your heart yeah. to someone and, and, someone and, should, and you know see, let's also yes the father was wrong the father was harsh yes he said those words but is the boy doing what he's supposed to do you see my problem in, mm -hmm. in, in with the emotion and that's why i don't want to raise my kids abroad they heighten your emotions you become this emotionally aware you get emotions with those days when they grow up you get the emotion like you slap collect them from you as in oh eh, eh, we are looking we, we 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 have this whole smoke screen of of the harsh words we are not seeing how many of you they send to school and you will drop out and go and work in a restaurant and your father will be okay with it how many of you will be okay with that of your children restaurants in lagos of... we are not talking it's about just... restaurant abroad though. It's just unfortunate, Freeze, that we happen to be in a very, very rotten society where people will actually look you in the eye and tell you who school help, who school help, who school help. It's just so sad. That's how low we have sunk as a people, as a nation. Right now, some people feel they can make it. And really, people, a lot of people are making it without their degrees. So for those people who think, say, uh, right now, who, who degree help, I know, Give yourself 10 years. You'll be singing a different tune. In 10 years, when the body, eh, don't fall finish, what thing you go con use? What thing be your fall back plan? Because so a lot of youths of today are living in the moment. Mm. You mm. have to plan mm. for mm. your 40 something year old self. You have to plan for your 50 something year old self. You have to plan for your 60 something year old self. Like by the time you get to a certain age, you'll be too old to be singing such things. Cynthia, you've been a blessing tonight. You've thrown uh, some light on this because you see, those days, somebody will come and grant interview and it don't end. But with the advent of social media, we are seeing many different refractions mm -hmm. of this because yesterday we had Regina Askia who worked with him, I'm sure was his senior colleague or his mate yeah yeah no regina came out in 1992 glamour yes. girls yeah senior colleague so she was probably his senior colleague you were his junior colleague junior colleague so correct we, we've we've had his pa we've had the son with so so we, we are looking at this from a more from a broader perspective and this has thrown a lot of insight into the situation at hand um i will never ever in my life support the way i make her talk to that boy but i can now see that his the delivery anger that anger is justified you can't spend that much money on a child and not see it's, it's the results hurt. and it's not hurt. be frustrated hurt. now what our advice is they need to sit down the boy also needs therapy. to sit down therapy. and if you're going to go for an evening program go for an evening program and walk in the restaurant but that you just drop out of school and your mother will sit there and carry you and come and talk about your father when you yourself need <laughs> you are 22 years old you 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 yourself need a, a few things fixed so make we leave the matter now god sabi everything now god will help us now god go judge the matter that take good care of yourself looks like a lot of other families need healing yeah yeah so guys cynthia let me log out. Take care and God bless. Bye.